I stay about 240 feet from the river and this oil has basically destroyed our river and it's caused me serious bodily harm and tissue scarring to where I'll never ever be healed ever again. What happened? They had to open me up from all the way from my pelvis area to my chest. They basically, I puked and detached my aorta off my stomach. Now I have trouble going to a beach. I have trouble seeing people. Tonight, our I-Team takes on accusations of an Embridge cover-up. Last July, a pipeline owned by Embridge ruptured in Marshall, sending hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil into West Michigan's waterways. Now a former Enbridge employee is blowing the whistle on the company, accusing it of covering up oil. One former worker is doing everything possible to get his story out there. My name is Chance Lowry, Battle Creek, Michigan, yeah. 49015. I was actually part of the Embridge oil spill, and I actually was breathing the fumes daily, which in turn caused me to get headaches and nausea for two weeks, to the point where I actually puked and detached my aorta off my stomach. I almost bled to death. I had about three or four pints of blood in me, and I barely lived. And it's all due to the fact that Embridge told the news that everything was okay, that the fumes and the air that everybody was breathing causes headache and nausea, but in other words, everybody's okay. It isn't the case. Embridge has done everything in their power to not only cover it up, but to lie to people and to tell people that that's not the case, that everybody's okay, the fumes are just going to cause headaches and nausea. They use the news to cover it up. They've actually done everything in their power to cover up the oil. I had a friend of mine that actually works for Embridge and swore to me that they actually took spots where there was oil and they poured sand out to cover it up and then they took logs to cover that up and then they took sand and poured it on top of that and then covered that with sod to where you would need heavy machinery to even get down to where the oil's at because they hit it. Everywhere the oil spots were real bad and everywhere the spill was significant they did everything they could to buy the properties and go around and do everything they could to cover this up and hide it from the people. They said there was hundreds of thousands of gallons when actually now they're finding out there's millions. It was just as bad as the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, but we got a tenth of the recognition. Fumes cause you to get nauseous and have extremely bad headaches. And I had headaches for about two weeks, which caused me to repeatedly vomit and throw up over and over and over again. It basically would never go away for about two weeks. And I actually puked so hard, I detached my aorta off my stomach. I had three pints of blood that built up into my stomach to where I almost bled to death as a result of it. Why do you think that happened? Oh, I know it's from the fumes of the oil spill. We're at the historical bridge part at Calhoun County Park in Battle Creek, Michigan, near Soresco. It says the portage at Soresco Dam is temporarily closed. Sorry about the inconvenience. But yeah, it's only a few miles away from here, and it specifically tells you remaining oil found in the river is not hazardous. What do I do should you come in contact with any oil sheen while using the Kamazoo River? Please follow these simple steps. Sanitary wipes are provided at the location to wipe away, clean both your skin and your watercraft. See information below. They got actual details on how to wipe your skin and your watercraft clean, even though the fact that they say that the remaining oil found is not hazardous. Then here, they say that the the fish is safe and easy to clean and to cook. I've had a friend of mine who actually has a tumor on a fish about this big on his Facebook page. He caught it at the point in downtown Battle Creek, but yet they tell you it's okay to eat it. Would you would you give that uh, would you give a tumored fish to your son? I would never feed my son with that fish. I wouldn't feed anybody with that fish, even a stranger. Well, what do you think when Embridge says this river's clean? I don't think it's clean, and it has yet to be proven. They still have booms actually in the river to catch the actual oil that's still left over, but yet they say it's clean. It's been three and a half years when they said it would be a year and a half, two years before they'd have it clean. Did they lie to all of us? Lied to everybody. All right, starting November 6, 2013, Mr. Kingsley, Judge Kingsley of the Calhoun County Circuit Court granted motion for a summary of deposition on November 4, 2013. His reasoning, which I believe is faulty, indicated that he did not believe there was sufficient proof for 
causation as to the ultimate surgery that you had on August 18, 2010. An order granting the summary deposition motion of dismissing the case is being entered as we speak. I intend to appeal this matter in the Court of Appeals. I feel that the judge was in error on considering that all the work has been performed on it by myself and the time invested is well worth doing this. I have ordered a transcript of hearing that was held on motion of summary de deposition. Basically what it's stating is, is even though I have 30 people stating that I was sick and almost 30 people stating I was sick and that for two weeks I was horribly ill with migraines and headaches and nausea and that I puked and detached the artery off my stomach and even though I have a doctor that witnesses and sta or not witnessed but stated that what happened to me is a direct result of the oil spill this is just one of the things that they do to try to deter people away from fighting them is using money and legal action to stop what is happening. Why do you think they, uh, how do you think they get away with this? Money. Money mainly. They can buy out who they want to quiet. They can pay lawyers to fight those who don't want to stay quiet. And then they can do everything they can, and use, including using the police to pressure people away from being able to find out the truth. Because if the truth was out there and the people did find out, I think a lot more would happen in Congress and they would do a lot more. Instead, Congress slaps them on the wrist and lets them get away with it. So what do you think about the news in our community? Like the Battle Creek Inquirer never reported about the oil Never, Never reported and neither did the news stations. A lot of the news stations said headache and nausea, but they didn't tell you that the chemicals cause cancer causing agents and kill people. And that really bothers me. I thought living in America, we lived in a country that when something happened, you would be told about it. There would be consequences for those who did injure or harm people, and there's not. Our government's crooked, and sometimes money fuels that. So, are you pissed off at Enbridge? Hate Enbridge. Hate Enbridge with every burning ember of my soul. And they will suffer for what they did, and I will do everything in my power to make sure that they see and go through the motions of feeling what I felt. I don't care if it's hurting them financially, I don't care if it's showing people the truth on the oil that's still left behind and that they're not cleaning up that they, they should and that they're covering it up. What is HELPA.org? HELPA.org is honor environment. Love people, protect America. It's fighting for our water. It's investigating the truth. It's exposing the truth with video proof. Fuck you, Embridge. Fuck you. For real. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you glad we ain't catch up with you? you. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm catching up with them. <laughs>